famously played Dr. Cox on Scrubs for nine years, yes. brilliantly, and I'm just curious. Very funny character. Thank you. I'm told, I can't believe it, that was a hard part for you to get. When I went into audition for uh, Scrubs, the, in the margin of the script, it said, we're looking for a John McGinley type. And so I read it and I said, well, this is a stone cold lock. Yeah. So I went into audition for Bill Lawrence, the creator of Scrubs and Ground Floor, which is what we're on now. And I said, uh, hi, Bill, I'm, I'm John McGinley, I'm, I'm the type. Yeah. And he said, well, great, but uh, you're still gonna have to audition five times. So I'll be damned if I didn't audition for that thing five times, climbing the network ladder of, of, of different people who get a, a say in the casting process. And I finally got it, and they, they got their John McGinley type. <laughs> <laughs> Written for you. Come on. It's like when I auditioned for the show Conan. Uh, <laughs> we're looking for a Conan type. You're not quite what we're looking for. <laughs> Tell us about Ground Floor. Are you enjoying being on TBS? Uh, I got Ground Floor right after, yes, I'm enjoying being on TBS, and I got Ground Floor right after I'd done Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross on Broadway with Al Pacino and Bobby Cannavale and Richard Schiff and all these great actors. And so I was in good live theater fighting shape. Yes. And Bill Lawrence, who did uh, uh, Scrubs, said, do you want to do a live four-camera show here at Warner Brothers on stage 19? And I said, uh, yeah, because it's like doing an off-Broadway play every Tuesday night when we shoot it. And so it's been thrilling. There's this young group of actors on it, from, from Skyler to, to Breger and Rory, who you know on their show. Yep. And so it's thrilling. The show's on Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock, and it's the most fun thing I've ever done. There, and you can tell, too, there's a great energy that comes off of all of you working together. You Absolutely. Have, I, I, one thing that impresses me is there is a little tiny bit of memorization that comes with doing a show every day, but I'm constantly, we're working off each other. They'll hold up a card. There'll be ways that we can cheat. You're kind of got a very good reputation in the business for being able to memorize incredible runs on scrubs. I was always amazed at those long speeches you could give with lightning speed. Well, what's, two, your, what's your secret? I have two things. Well, I write it, I write it out in a composition book, uh, and then I, wrote, I put verbs in the margin of what I'm trying to do, and then I juggle. And if I juggle while I'm doing the lines and I drop a ball, it means either I don't know the lines or the lines aren't right for me. And so it's like an x-ray machine for dialogue memorization. And so I've uh, just come up with that system over the years. You can do that. You can juggle and, and recite something from memory at the same time. Kim, I could do a poem for you right now. You would do a poem for us? Sure. Sure. Yeah. What do you, well, we have, they said you might do this. We have. I keep baseballs here at all time. I never know what's going to happen. And uh, what, what poem are you going <laughs> to, what poem are you going to do for us? El Dorado by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe's El Dorado while <clears throat> juggling. <clears throat> Do you have any mood lighting? We can't afford that. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, do something with the lights. Here we go. Ready, Andy? I'm ready. Gaily bedight a gallant knight in sunshine and in shadow, had journeyed long singing a song in search of El Dorado. But he grew old, this knight so bold, and o'er his heart a shadow. Fell as he found no spot of ground that looked like El Dorado. Yeah! That was fantastic.